Today, we're putting the Chisos belts through a series of stress tests to see what they can endure. So stick around, because how much can this hold up to? I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. I headed home to my parents' shop at Twisted Willow Fabrication, where Doug, my dad, helped me with this Chisos belt stress test. These belts look great in all colors, and there's a rough out option and ostrich belt options too, so you can match your boots. They're also built well, and Chiso sent me these belts and is sponsoring this video so we can find out just how well built they are. All right, let's start out with something easy on this gantry. I'm gonna set up the belts and do some pull-ups just to get warmed up. Now I'm around 190 pounds, so this pull-up test was pretty easy for two belts to hold my weight. I think it was more of a warm-up for me than for the belts. So with the first stress test passed, it was time to ready the scale and lift up a metal plate with just one belt. And that's impressive. So right now, we're at 305, 306. All being held up by the Chisos belt. That's not even stretching that. That's a Thanksgiving test right there. Chisos belts use the same dairy cow leather that they use for the boots on the outside, but then it's sewn to a veg tan piece of leather in the back. And it is holding up very well right now with a 300 pound metal plate. It's got all 307 pounds just on the belt itself. Another cool thing about these belts is that at every three quarter of an inch, you have a hole rather than every inch. So that way you get a better fit, or that's the idea anyways. You know, sometimes I have to make an extra hole in between the holes on my belt in order to get the perfect fit. But since these are spaced a little bit closer, then it's already going to serve you much better than some of the belts out there that have an inch between every hole. And the buckle of the belt is on with some Chicago screws, which is probably a good choice now that it's holding up 300 pounds. If those were snap, they would probably have already snapped off. But because they are Chicago screws, it's holding the buckle in there securely while it's holding up 300 pounds. Now there's no reason for a belt to hold up more than 300 pounds since they're made just to keep pants up. So I'd say this is already a success, but just for fun, let's really test the limits of this belt. My dad grabbed some logs with the Bobcat to use as weight and these three logs probably weigh over 1,000 pounds. After situating them in a way that would make it easier to get a strap around, we were ready to hook up a belt. 200, we're over 300 now, so this is New, it's going up fast. Oh, there it goes. I didn't get where it broke at though. Uh, about 500. That was a fail on my part, but the last weight I captured on video was 460 and the bell broke a couple seconds later where it was fastened at the buckle. So now let's test the buckle itself. Okay, about 250 pounds. We're starting to go through. It shouldn't go past the buckle, so we're gonna test the buckle out too. Is this okay? Yeah, let's keep it going. There it goes. The buckle broke off at one of the Chicago screw holes at just over 300 pounds. And it makes sense that a belt would break where there are holes in the leather first. I failed where the holes were. Yeah. So the, the belt itself hasn't failed yet, except for where the weak spots. So, can we, while we have this hooked up on logs, can we eliminate this part? Clamp, what kind of clamps can we use? So to test just the leather itself and forego the holes in the leather, my dad prepared the belt with clamps. A ton of clamps. Going all the way up. <laughs> now to give it another go. Over 500. Six hundred. And it's starting to slip a little, it looks like. I just touched 700, there it is, 700. Add one more clamp to stop it from slipping, and... All right, 730. There it goes, 
750. And that's how much the leather can take. So the leather did break. The leather did break. Right there. So at the strongest point, 750 pounds. So that was a pretty fun stress test for these Chisos belts. The weak points up here where the holes were can take about 500 pounds, but then the leather itself can take about 750, which is pretty impressive. I also like the fact that the holes are spaced three quarter of an inch apart rather than a whole inch. It makes the fit a lot better. And this belt is no good. There's no reason to test this one now because we know its limits around 500 pounds where the holes are and that's a good Thanksgiving dinner. These belts run around $125 on chisos.com and they're made in Mexico. If you wanna get your own, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Your belt really doesn't need to hold up 700 pounds. But Chiso's belt's all ready for you to go to town. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. Why don't you check out this other Chiso's boots video up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.